I'm so happy to have you back. You've got some pumpkins here. You're yep. telling us we're working, we can work out with them. So first and foremost, what size pumpkin do we need? Because well, they come in on many shapes and sizes. Yeah, just like anybody else, uh, everybody's for different fitness sizes, our different fitness levels, there are different sizes that you can utilize. Okay. Um, but roughly, you know, anytime you want to get yourself a challenge for a specific workout, any, anywhere between five and eight or five and 10 pounds of a pumpkin would usually be adequate. Okay, um, nothing too heavy. You don't want to struggle heavy, here. Right? No, no, you want to make sure that you're setting yourself up properly, especially when you're beginning. Start off lower and work your way up. Okay, so let's jump so in. So we have a few different sizes here. The first one we can do, um, what you can do is just, we, we can essentially just pick this up and I'll, 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 I'll give this to okay. you. And what we can do is, this is called a squat and a press. So what you can do is actually place that um, pumpkin right on the ground by squatting down, putting your knees oh, okay. in line with your place ankles, yep. And then slowly come on up. Do I turn, pick it up? Yep, pick it on up. Turn your palms facing up and then press it right up over your head. Ooh. And then take it down. Again, put it on the ground, pick it on up. Notice your knees are going right over your ankles, which is what we're looking for. And as we okay. press up, we use the midsection back, arms and shoulders as you're doing that. Now, should my elbows out? Or elbows el are going to be in here. Okay, elbows are going to be in so you can press and use the upper, uh, the, the back of the upper arm. Now, notice we have a stem on that one and it's almost yes. kind of poking <laughs> in the head. So, in the event that you have one that has that, you can kind of cut it off or pull it off so that it doesn't injure you. We don't want any boo-boos out there. Perfect. All right. No boo-boos. No boo-boos. All right. So that's an option there. Now we also have, which you can use this one as well, and then we're going to get down into a plank position. So we're going to put the pumpkin right down on the ground. Okay. And what we're going to do is place both hands to the side of the pumpkin like that, this will support moving your feet back. Yes, it will support you. Yes. Okay. All right. I got you here anyways. No worries. Okay. So you're in a plank position where you're on your toes, yep. glutes engaged, abs tight. And now what we're going to do is what we call a spider walk. This is where you're going to step one leg up towards your hand, step okay. it up and put it nice and flat on the ground. Very good. Yes. Now you would then bring it back and step the other leg up almost like a spider would. And oh, you wow. would keep doing that back and forth, engaging in midsection and your lower back, as well as your glutes and your quads. So that's our spider walk. Why am I the only one doing well, that? Well, we can time? do it. I can definitely do it. I don't know. I don't know. Where's Will and where is, uh, where's Brendan? I don't know. I figured we could get them out here to do this. Now, the last one we can do, and I'll show you this one, and we can get into this as well. You might want to do this one with a little bit lighter pumpkin. In this one here, we probably got something along the lines of, you know, three to four pounds. Yep. This is called a, uh, a V-sit twist. So what we're going to do is get down into a V-sit position. Okay. And when we do this, a letter V, meaning from our knees to our chin. And we're going to place that pumpkin right in our hands, just like this out in front. Mm -hmm. And we're going to follow that pumpkin with our head. Turn to one side, keeping the chest up and the shoulders back, and going to the other side. Now, the speed here does not have to go fast. Okay. You can keep And your arms pace. straight out? Arms straight out. You can have a slight bend at the elbows if you need to. Okay. Very good. Keeping your head up, your chest out. Nice, strong, confident position there. Yep, toes pointed towards the ground. And that way you're going to get your midsection, your lower back, and the obliques on the side of the body. Beautiful. So, you know, the goal... And I love that you can really take anything in your... And, that's, and, and that's, make it a workout. That's exactly what we're going for here. There's no, there shouldn't be an excuse as to why you can't work out. If you have pumpkins at home, most people do it this time of the year. Uh, it's a great opportunity to be able to utilize what you have at the house, not have to pay a lot of money for them. And it saves space as well. I mean, we don't have much space here. You don't have to worry about, you know, getting a lot of equipment or having, you know, 20, 30 feet. You can do it within five feet. That's true. And there's all different things you can do on top of that. So... If you ever want to do more, let me know. These are the type of things that we do at our boot camps. Um, yeah, which are which are great because yep. you really, I mean, it's minimal equipment. A lot of it is body weight. Body so weight, you elements don't have to of the feel outdoors. Intimidated. You don't feel intimidated. Um, it gives you an understanding to be able to work at your own fitness level, all while doing it and you know, having a, a, a unique atmosphere and having fun while doing it. Definitely. As opposed to, you know, kind of the same monotonous gyms. Uh, You've kicked our butt on the beach. So you're <laughs> kicking my butt with pumpkins. I mean, these are some of the fun things yeah. that, that not just women, but but other people can do, Of course, yeah, do, there's, right? no, there's no reason why you can't do it. If, if you guys, we, we can do a whole, we can do a whole crew activity here. You know, I got a few other things we can do too, so. We might get the whole crew. Hey, I think no, we should, I think we should. <laughs> All right, what do you say? One more, let's do the, uh, right. the spider walks while, while we say walk? goodbye. There we go. Uh, I like this. You wanna do the spider walk? Yeah, you're gonna do it too. Okay, I'm gonna do it too. All right, here we go. What am I thinking here? All right, you ready? Here we go. Is this gonna support me? Is this gonna support me? Yes, it will. All right, if you want any more information about the pumpkin workouts and Ryan and all of his classes, head on over to the roadshow page, WPRI.com.